Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working on road placement once again, but this video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to work on how to transition your spots, ideas for decor, and what you can do through these transitions and a ton of other tips that I've learned through all of my city court building. But before we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. If you're new to my channel, first I want to say welcome and thank you so much for coming by. I do a lot of Animal Crossing content from speed builds, tutorials, and island tours. I also do a simulation gaming and I love to play Pokemon too, so if you're into this kind of stuff, I hope you decide to stick around. I'm still growing as a creator. I actually started my YouTube channel about a year ago. Having this channel has meant so much to me because I have made so many great friends in this incredible community. And if you want to get to know me better as a creator, I definitely recommend checking out all of my socials, which you can find linked in the video's description. You'll also always find the codes that I use there too. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just talk about what we're gonna do on today's video. So today we are going to just talk about how you can transition from different road placements and just some ideas in general. What I'm going to be doing for the entry today is just a very simple angled road. You can totally do your own entry however you choose to, but I know that a lot of my followers ask me, I like your builds, but how do I transition from said build or how do I plan out where my road placement is going to be. Now keep in mind I wing all of my builds completely like I never have a plan I just go with the flow but I know that a lot of people can't always do that sometimes you need a guide to go off of. So today's video is basically going to be a beginner's guide to having a really nice angled road layout with a bunch of really popular road transitions that you might have been seeing on social media. Also if you are somebody who needs this footage a little bit slower all you need to do is go into the video settings and you can slow down the video speed manually now my voice will probably be super distorted so I suggest muting this if you need to recreate it because this build just doing the road placement took me over an hour and a half to do and obviously I can't post an hour and a half long video so uh, I've had a lot of questions about like slower build help and stuff so that is what you can do on these videos I also plan to return to live streaming soon I haven't been live streaming for a few weeks now mostly because there's just been a lot going on in real life then I got sick so uh, make sure you have your notifications turned on if you also want to tune into those live streams and you'll be able to see my build process just at a normal pace too I will do my best to try to do several videos like this with different road designs. Like I had a recent request of doing more abandoned roads that are kind of like broken and chippy and those can be very confusing to use. So I'll for sure do a video like that in the future. And as for today's road layout, I might keep this actually for my new Cherry Blossom City. I'm not quite sure yet, but I did really like how a lot of these transitions ended up working. So if all goes well, I will definitely uh, continue adding to this. I am going to do some decorating later on in the video. I'll end up just transitioning to it near the end so you can see how I've decorated around there so you can get some decoration ideas. Now keep in mind, it won't be fully decorated because decorating just takes so long to do and I want you to be able to put your own personal twist to it as well but I'll give you a general idea on how you can fill in some of these spaces. Uh, a lot of these angled rows can be definitely super confusing on how to decorate so uh, one of the things I really like personally doing is making use of greenery every chance that I get. A lot of people struggle with filling in uh, greenery, flowers, just in general on City Core Islands and I like to map out actually where I place these and you're going to see that once we finish this angled highway. Also if you are new to City Core, I recommend checking out my road placing videos. I'm actually going to be putting all of these into their own separate playlist. I also want to add to this video that all the road placements that I have been doing will work for any City Core theme. What comes down to determining how a road fits with a certain Animal Crossing Island aesthetic is literally just how you decorate and your codes in general. So if this road doesn't work for your current theme, you can easily do the same exact layout with a different one that does suit. So just keep that in mind that even though this is geared towards my blossom theme that I'm going to be doing, this could work for other themes too. 
If your plaza is not in the same location too that I'm working on today, that's totally fine. You'll just have to work around it and make some changes to this layout. Again, keep in mind that I totally just wing my layouts and I choose random maps. I don't plan any of this. I just kind of like work with what I got. So sometimes you'll be in that situation. I've had a lot of people ask me and I've even got messages like, oh, Nora, how do I transition this to my plaza? And the answer is, I don't know, because I just go with the flow. But um, it, I'll do my best, honestly, to come up with different layouts as I get time. I'll do more videos like this in the future for sure, especially with like, you know, plaza locations close to the entry because there is just no way I can think of a layout or transition like immediately. It takes me some time to kind of like work around the angles and just like figure out how I want something to transition. But uh, hopefully these videos in the future will definitely help people who just need a guide. Like I wanted this video to have a lot of different transitions from the entry because I know many people are struggling with just getting these transitions done, especially when you're doing your city core builds. Like you can do obviously like a build and then after that you're just like, oh, what, what do I do after? So that is kind of like what this video is for. You can honestly decorate however you choose to on the roadsides. Like right now I'm working on like a little highway area. This would be perfect to put like maybe your nook store over here. You could even line this with your villagers. Like I think you could easily fit uh, four villagers, like two on each side over here with yards. So I mean like there are so many different build possibilities that you could do over in this location. Now I'm going to be doing another angled highway, but this one's actually going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to transition into a cul-de-sac. I actually had several of you asking how do you transition roads into cul-de-sacs and just roundabouts in general. So that is what I'm prepping over right here and you'll see how we end up transitioning to that cul-de-sac in a second. Now the cul-de-sac also works really great for villagers too. You can usually fit up to eight villagers depending on how big the cul-de-sac is. The one that I'm going to do today, I think it will only fit about four to six villagers, I want to say. So uh, if you need help on how to like get those to line up correctly, I definitely recommend checking out my villager cul-de-sac video. that will give you some ideas on how to just like map out and make sure all the houses are perfectly aligned when you create that. So the empty spot in between these roads are where I'm gonna be putting different uh, greenery things like you know your trees, bushes, flowers. You can obviously layer these and decorate them however you want to. So that's what this empty grass spot is. You're gonna need to make sure that is three tiles each. Now my roads are always gonna be roughly three tiles and then I usually do two extra tiles on each side for sidewalks. Now it just depends on the location but that is just like my personal preference. Uh, so if you don't like the three squares width of the roads, you can totally expand these as needed. But again, that's just my personal preference. I'm not planning to use road centers on this build, but with the uh, road centers, it still looks great. It still looks fine. I usually do road centers on my other urban style themes, but for this cherry blossom theme, I'm just not planning to use road centers as a personal preference. So I went ahead and fast forward the footage to the cul-de-sac being pretty much done. Now if you are somebody who needs a tutorial on how to do this every square, uh, definitely check out that villager cul-de-sac video because you see the process, especially with adding villagers to it. And I'll have that linked in the video's description in case you just want to refer to that video. But uh, since this takes a while just to place in general, I went ahead and just fast forward it to get it done but uh, you can decorate the center pretty much however you choose to a lot of people do fountains and greenery I'm just like gonna leave this empty so you can determine how you want to decorate it I wanted to avoid decorating this during the road placing part just because I didn't want it to feel like it was limited to just a certain theme that way you can put your own uh, personal twist to them but I will definitely show you how I ended up decorating some of these locations once the uh, main tutorial is done I am tempted like I said earlier to keep this for my actual island I really did like just how all these transitions started to come together and uh, so hopefully that goes well I'll be definitely adding some builds to it and if all goes well we'll just keep adding to this so now I am just gonna transition also this highway right here I don't know where this is gonna go quite yet but I just wanted to make sure you had the finished transition done so you can add on to it from there 
Sadly, I will not have the whole entire island completely mapped out on this video, but for the most part, I feel like there is enough transitions where you can start building and just putting your own personal twist to it. Uh, but in the future, I would definitely love to do a whole entire road mapped out island, but it's just not realistic right now for me to do that. But over in this location, I'm also going to be mapping this out for another angled road. And this could transition to another neighborhood maybe or even some city core builds. So I'm going to go ahead and start mapping this out. I wanted to make sure this video had a lot of angled uh, layouts. That way you could refer to this in the future if you struggle with those. Because I feel like the angles are the hardest part on city court because a lot of people enjoy making these because they just look really aesthetic, but they can be a pain in the butt to make. So hopefully seeing all the road placement with different angled styles will help you on your city core building journey. So now the whole entire road layout is officially done. Now we can start focusing on decorating. So I will have a quick footage of how I decorated some of these spots. Now I won't have this whole entire thing decorated because that will take forever to do in one day. But I do hope that this video helps somebody get the motivation to finally start working on their Animal Crossing Island again. I know many of us are feeling burnt out. We really want to see more updates happen and it's just not happening lately and it's definitely discouraging so hopefully this video just gets you playing the game again. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments section below and also some other things you hope to see on the channel in the future too. I am trying my best to tackle all of y'all's build requests in the comments lately and today's video was a request of several of them. So again, I hope that this definitely helps somebody out there who has been struggling with city core or maybe you want to get into city core building but you just don't know where to start. I ended up placing all of the villager homes that existed and and hopefully this layout kind of gives you an idea of how you could go about placing these homes. I might keep this layout for the new Blossom City, but I'm not quite sure yet, mostly because a lot of the builds that I want to do take quite a bit of space, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.